Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you uh, this 6-in-1 multifunctional thermometer from uh, Health for You by Sil Silvercrest. So uh, Silvercrest has or start to have um, some sub brand uh, as I mentioned Health for You and uh, as far as I notice it will be uh, several devices uh, uh, in this uh, brand under this brand so uh, I already tested uh, uh, blood pressure that has uh, Bluetooth um, uh, connectivity now I'm testing a multifunctional thermometer so I didn't uh, connect it with the app so you will be able straight away see how it's responsive how it's, uh, let's say, user friendly and how fast it's, it, it goes. But on the beginning, some basic features. Uh, color uh, LED for visualization of uh, fever alerts, alerts. I think this is the, the this bar. It's, it's green when I have tested it, but I'm assuming it will be red shifted when it will be a uh, uh, where when he will uh, detect a fever. Uh, it measures body temperature, can also be used as a forehead thermometer, so not in, uh, only into a, an, a, uh, an ear, but only you can, on, also you can um, test uh, or make a measurement uh, 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 on top of your head, okay? Bluetooth uh, connectivity, it stores up to 30 records, date and time, uh, display, and it can switch uh, between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So, without further ado, let's try how fast it will be uh, my devices. Add new device. It's uh, FFT76. Yes. So, okay, so welcome back. I've managed to turn it on, I mean the Bluetooth, but I failed to connect. I can see that uh, mm, devices are trying to connect, but on the end of the day, uh, at the uh, multifunctional thermometer, it pop ups, the error pop, up, uh, pop ups, and uh, as well at the uh, smartphone, I have uh, information that they fa failed. So I will try it once more just to show you how to do it. Uh, in terms of uh, basic settings, it is that um, you should turn it on, then press for at least five second uh, button with a letter S. Then you will be able to go through whole menu, and you will be able to set hour, date, Bluetooth on off, on off easy. Uh, you have uh, you can do it in five steps. The application is showing what you should to do each at each step. Then you are clicking next, and it's written uh, it's read, uh, written that you should uh, make a, a measurement, and it will show a pin code that you have to enter to the uh, smartphone, and it should be ready. But if I'm doing right now, if I do it, there will be no connectivity, so only what I have spotted. I should come back to this me this first menu, make a measurement and then press forward. They're trying to connect, but on the end of the day they are failing. So I'm making measurement of the temperature of my finger, 35.7 degrees. And I have clicked. Okay, I can see that Bluetooth uh, it's switched off, so again I will press for five seconds. Okay, Fahrenheit, no, I want to have a Celsius, next, 24 hours, that's fine. Date and hour, not really important for me for the, for the time being. Bluetooth on, off, on, and now it's turning off. Okay, so now I'm making a measurement again okay pressing next hmm. 
that's weird okay again and again now I have a Bluetooth sig signal I have a pin code but the device is not reacting oh and now it's trying now it will synchronize or try to synchronize the pin code is on it will take a few seconds not so long time it's trying to connect I can see error here and the message was on the on the bottom that they failed so I don't know what I'm doing wrong I'm doing my best trying to connect trying to synchronize but each time is the same smartphone detects some device nearby the thermometer is showing the pin code but on the end of the day there will be a, on the bottom signal uh, not signal but the, um, the, the information that they they failed so from that perspective because I failed okay error number three what, whatever and still okay so only what I will do right now is to check the constant uh, how it, how thermometer is uh, checking the temperature at the same spot 45.5 again 40 f sorry 34.7 so almost uh, one degree less which is a lot again decreasing this is the same spot I know it should be done on the different part of the body but I'm just checking constantly how it's um, uh, how it's how it's measuring the same spot each time the temperature is lower and lower and lower and now it's way too low so I will try to have the same spot again it's low different part F 34.7 um, for me a little bit Add and not precise 35.2 again 35.3 okay now we are measuring measuring something because at least it's showing the same digit, digit, digits almost the same so I should I can say and now I <laughs> I was almost saying that uh, I'm trusting to, uh, this device, but I'm not. The same spot, I'm not moving an inch, and the uh, temperature is each time different. It's quite, quite fast, I have to admit, and now it's low. So. As far as I notice, it's poor uh, in terms of uh, connectivity and reliability. It's also, in my opinion, not uh, the strongest uh, uh, strongest feature because I cannot trust this device because the same spot is measuring with a totally different uh, parameter. So, in my opinion, it's a, a waste of money. I'm curious about your opinion. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.